Welcome to Bazaar Corporate Radar. Well, recently you've heard of a lot of regulatory actions and governance that has uh, come through in the spotlight. The RBI has tightened its grip on the NBFC space with a recent crackdown on GM Financial and IFL Finance. SEBI is also taking some corporate governance action where it barred Z promoters from holding key positions. It has also warned Vedanta to strengthen internal controls for corporate announcements. Sandeep Parekh of FinSec Law Advisors and JN Gupta, the former executive director of SEBI, join in now to talk about that. Gentlemen, morning to both of you. Mr. Gupta, I want to start with you first. There's a lot of regulatory action and governance that has suddenly come into the spotlight. What is the big takeaway from this? Is it that there's genuinely uh, a lot of lapses in terms of governance in many of these companies in the NBFC space? Or is it just proactive measures from the regulators? See, I, I would say let us not generalize anything at this stage. It could be one-off actions or it could be a signal for greater malaise in the system. We do not know at this stage. What we can say at this stage is yes, there are lapses at various levels and both the regulators, RBI and SEBI, have come out with their respective orders or advisory and actions is being taken. Now we have to see what happens thereafter. In most of the cases, nobody goes against RBI to the court or anywhere. But in case of SEBI, everybody goes to the court. So let us wait and see who goes to SAT against SEBI. But I would say it is all culmination of issues where NBFC have been an area where a lot of regulatory oversight, although it theoretically is there, but in practical terms it was not there. But now looking into the importance that it is gaining and that every other place you have got lot of oversight, probably a little bit attention more is being paid to NBFC sector. And that's always a good thing, right? I mean, as you said, we should not jump to conclusions at the moment. We're not sure if this is a larger malaise in the system or it's just a one-off case. Got that. Sandeep Parekh is also with us. Sandeep, eventually, of course, cleansing of the system is always good for the longer term. But what happens in the near term? Do you see such uh, more of such instances come through? Because it's not just one instance, right? It was back-to-back -back many companies that were brought in the spotlight and governance issues spoken about as well, or at least allegations made. Your thoughts on how this is going to play out going forward? Yeah, hi, uh, Punya. Uh, so I think I echo what uh, Mr. Gupta just said. In addition, I think, you know, really, there are two separate things which are happening in parallel. And, you know, I think uh, it's good to kind of segregate the two. One is the enforcement action that you mentioned. Uh, and the second is, the, uh, are they also trying to be a counter-cyclical regulator, which means, you know, they are they have the eyes on inflation and they don't want too much money. Uh, they don't want too much fraud uh, happening in the system, which, which they seem to suggest is, is going on. So I think it's, it's the two, two things are going on at the same time, which is obviously having uh, an even larger impact in terms of, you know, how RBI is looking at NBFCs today. Uh, the second kind of uh, point, uh, preliminary point really is in, in terms of enforcement action, I think, uh, I, I think, I don't think it's really connected to the first point of, uh, of counter-cyclical measures. I think this kind of Trying to clean the market, really, uh, and uh, like Mr. Gupta said, we'll see how, how much of it uh, sustains and how much of it is, you know, kind of either turned down or, you know, stayed by uh, appellate courts or it courts, etc. So I think uh, I think enforcement action is completely separate from from the the countercyclical measures which are being used, but they're happening at the same time. So it's looking uh, kind of lot, lot more harsher for the entire financial system uh, compared to if, if they were not happening. And then finally, you know, I think it is good that uh, the cleanup is happening, of course, uh, because, mm. you know, in times of froth is when, the, you know, the largest malpractices happen uh, or kind of people take it too easy. So I think it's, it's probably a good, uh, good time to kind of uh, take enforcement action. Okay, good time to take enforcement action. Mr. Gupta, let's talk about the two incidents, right? And in the two spaces that it happened. So the RBI barred IFL from giving any new loans against gold and GM Financial from giving loans against security. So there is gold, there is loans against security, there's also IPO financing on which the RBI is taking action. Um, what is the impact that you think this would have on the, in the, the markets? And uh, secondly, do you see any more segments where there could be some stringent action or some proactive measures uh, taken by the regulators? See, I will answer the first, second part of your question first. 
I am neither an astrologer nor a visionary to <laughs> say that what further action would be happening in what space. But I would say the action that have been taken is very clear that these areas, either whether it is gold loan or loan against debenture or whatever IPO financing, was an area, although everybody has been talking, but it was not looked into that seriously. Now the two cases have come to the light. It will have a cleaning effect in the system because now those people who were in the comfort that okay, we are away from the radar of RBI or SEBI, would wake up and say the action could be taken. So I would say in a long term, it is a positive for the market and the system as the integrity will improve as more and more cases, if at all, comes into the open so that the company or anybody who's involved in this would think twice or thrice before doing anything which can be caught or which will be on the other side of the regulation. That is mm. one part. The second part is this. This should also give some sort of a indication to the customer also that look, what you have been doing was not permitted or what not, not on the right side of the law. And maybe some customers will also be enlightened and will stay away from this. But again, you know, the memory is short something will happen after one or two years, people will forget it and may start doing again. So that is where the problem will remain for regulators to all tend to come. Uh, Sandeep, a final word from your end. Uh, this seems to be a widening crackdown on the sector on the whole, right? Many segments are being targeted. It's not just a one-off. What do you think the repercussions of this could be? Well, so I think, like I said, I think two, two parallel things are happening. One is uh, crackdown on the liquidity, and the second is kind of a crackdown on uh, on the enforcement side. And I, I think uh, one thing which I think the regulators need to do better would be to kind of, for instance, RBI should come out with a detailed order uh, as as does IRD and SEBI, uh, so that people can judge for themselves. As this, you know, the national justice requires a detailed order. Uh, as to you know what went wrong, and again, it it would help the entire system itself. They know what to do, what not to do. So I think these one-page orders are kind of not helpful for uh, the system as such because you know people don't know what what has been violated, uh, when it has been violated, uh, whether the, the the punishment was proportionate uh, to the offence uh, created. So I think it's, it's I think SEBI needs uh, RBI needs to learn a bit from SEBI in terms of its uh, its uh, national justice process. <laughs> All right, Tash. And when we could have continued this discussion uh, endlessly, but we have to uh, sort of wind down the show. Mr. Gupta and Sandeep, thank you so much for joining in. Always a good thing when such issues are taken up and, you know, such um, malpractices are put an end to and the regulators are doing just that. With that, it is a wrap on uh, Bazaar. Thanks a lot for watching, but don't go anywhere. Lots of stock action coming up on our next show, Chartbusters. Stay tuned.